illustrations on that will help us to see how effectively the agenda produces universal access to health care. I'm not taking a different line to Hector, but I would point out that we're firmly convinced that at the heart of these efforts, that your efforts to produce effective uh, community health intervention, at the heart of that is human rights, and equity, and dignity, and gender equality, and inclusiveness. Health is not just about health. It's dependent, and I think it is interactive with those bases. I think it's important for Bangladesh and for global health agenda experts to make sure that we don't make the same mistake that we made when we were setting the MDGs. These issues of the equity, equality, inclusiveness, human rights, gender equality, they were ubiquitous throughout all of the language of the goal. But they got lost. As we translated what we wanted to see into goal. Let's make sure that that doesn't happen. And, and um, I, I think that it's important that the agenda addresses these issues as a, as a basis for the development of the global health agenda, not just something to which we pay this service. Community health, uh, I think, is critical to ensuring that equity, dignity, and universal coverage. The global meeting last week paid a lot of attention to migration, and so should we here as we discuss community health interventions in Bangladesh. The message that our executive director gave to the Botswana meeting of the uh, health MDG uh, suggested that our service delivery mechanisms are obsolete. You know, in 2013, we need to be putting in place more effective strategies for reaching the billions and millions in Bangladesh. And we need to be looking at community health interventions, including the tapping of the unconventional service delivery model. It exists as a laboratory for that. The community health will be the service will really depend on how effectively and how creatively we put that together. And migrants really are some of the hardest to reach. We need to be looking at how we reach them before they depart when they return and when they're overseas. I just want to add a U and A here, and this is maybe going a little bit too global, but it's our belief that the MDGs are seen of great utility, as the speakers have talked about the uh, progress that's been made on infant and child mortality, the work on uh, AIDS, TB, malaria. They've been very good. I hope we don't throw them out with bath water. You know, clearly whilst a lot of work needs to be done, particularly in this country, on non-communicable diseases, this is unfinished work. A lot of it is unfinished work. And as, if you're a part of the discussion for the post MDG, we need to make making sure that we don't discard these where we've made great progress. And I think there should be a goal on unfinished business. I think it's important that we continue together, working together, as the speaker has said, to make smarter arguments, um, more cost effective arguments that the Professor of Economics says, for the investments that need to be continued to be made in global health and community health. To do that, we probably need to simplify our architecture a bit. There's 18 international agencies trying to coordinate this, and whilst our best intentions are to have them work together, we probably only need three. One financing mechanism, one normative guidance, and another one for advocacy. Just a little Q&A uh, tool for you there, sorry, just for that in. 
But lastly, why is community health important to the AIDS response? It's important because Bangladesh is, uh, epidemic is on the cusp. It can either explode or we can see a decline in infection. And Bangladesh is one of the uh, three countries in Asia Pacific where we have not seen that decline in infection since 2001. That would be 25 percent increase in the infection. So there's a lot more work to be done. And unless we are accessing the unaccessed people, unless we're using smarter community intervention, we won't be able to make that significant decline happen. Still a constant phase of epidemic here amongst most of this population. But having said that, half of the new infections came from migrants last year. Returning land migrants. Finally, I know we're going to return to this theme tomorrow, but I think we're all convinced that effective health, and particularly community health, remains dependent upon effective evidence-based strategic information and monitoring and evaluation. The uh, m system, I think, is still fragmented in Bangladesh, and there's a lot of work to be done on that. But we are making progress. We need traction to better monitor and strengthen the AIDS response. And I think that Professor Adapt tomorrow and uh, Dr. Carter from UNA uh, will be talking about the uh, national monitoring and evaluation indicators. Uh, and we look forward to that session tomorrow. So thank you very much for your patience. And I'm absolutely honored to be here and look forward to participating in the Thank you, Kenny. Uh, actually, I'm sure that uh, you and all of us provide support to the progress of the analysis and of the units in all of us, and particularly the health sector for us. The one of the very challenging issues is organizing such a big conference uh, and event. The, the important challenge is the resources, and it is very difficult to get it. And we are very happy that the city tanks have come over to support us in organizing such a monthly So now may I request Mr. Shumir, I expect additional mm -hmm. directors and chief business officer, Mr. Mm -hmm. Shumir, I expect. Honorable Chief Guest, Professor Day. Dr. Senior Mood Dr. Ali, advisor to the Honorable Prime Minister, Minister of Health and Family Welfare, and Minister of Social Welfare. Respected Chairman of the inauguration session, Professor Fan Gopal Doctor, Vice Chancellor of Honorable Mood Sheikh Mudir Medical University. Professor Vasate Kuda, Professor Shamim Munir, 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 uh, Hector, Leo, uh, Fernando, and uh, Elizabeth, welcome to Bangladesh. Distinguished uh, participants, a very good morning to you all. Good morning to you all. I was just listening to the speeches by our uh, by the people who gave the speeches before me. Hector, again, and then Leo, Elizabeth, and I just realized that my speech, which is a typical positive speech will actually add very little to the conflict of the concert itself. Therefore, I shall keep my speech, the sponsor's speech, very simple and very short. I do want to see you all, distinguished participants, it's a privilege for me to be here to present the Bank Commission at this conference. We are inspired by the presence of so many important personalities from home and abroad. It is our hope that this conference will address critical issues in our community health system. Hopefully the conference will highlight important health, <coughs> highlight important insights in what can be done and enhance community health care in our country. If the conference results in the creation of an integrated approach to community health care, 
we at City Plan would be extremely happy with our small part in this initiative. Ladies and gentlemen, City Bank Jersey is one of the oldest private commercial banks in this country. We have over half a million customers. We believe our bank plays a significant role in the economic development of the country. So that's not enough. It is evident that going forward, we have to increase our engagement to the general community beyond commercial products and services. Hence, our participation here as a platinum sponsor. We believe health is one of the key indicators for development of the country. It is an important component for our 2030 Millennium Goals. This conference is very much in line with the core ideology of the City Bank's corporate social responsibility program. Hopefully, time will see us expanding our involvement in this sector and in many other sectors. And I think you can see the financing sector, and I'm not using that to the City Bank alone, doing just that. So may I take this opportunity on behalf of City Bank to thank the government and partner for World Health, USA for organizing this conference. I would like to thank the development partners at Rachel, your name, and main medical partners for the association in the conference, as well as the initiatives going forward. I would also like to thank the Ministry of Health, John Gordon, the Sheikh Mujahid Medical University, along with all the associations and organizations involved in this event. We are extremely happy to be part of such an important and necessary development program. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much.
And yesterday, in fact, I was in a news in a television for about 90 minutes. But uh, I like they are organizing the news, that they are giving news and other things, and in between, they are talking to me. Because they ultimately discovered that at that time available, who knew uh, President Bill Rahman for more than 52 years, I am one of the four or five people who are still living. There is an excellent person and I am very close. So that's our about here. Uh, she will be on me out. That even so many times I could just telephone to his military secretary and immediately I could go to the house. If not in the office then, because we know this question in house, the back part is the personal residence. And one day when we went to Mr. Sarava and two other persons, he was already in the page. We had, uh, I did not realize then I should not have come, but because we heard that happen, so he came from there yesterday. And Mr. Sarava and other were remarking that sir, you, are, you should not have come. So you could come in another day. He said, no, 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 you have come. Because he was very, very close to me. And he was a very close friend of my elder brother, and he liked me, so really he of a personal loss and he took many memories. And so even I was thinking yesterday that the way that this conference is won, but uh, his excellency is or not. President always liked the war. He, it was not his motto that after his death, the war will get stopped and all that. So he should be remembered in the war. So I'm happy that you have continued with mm -hmm. Well, I've got a CTI stick with his guest, but uh, for my first life, I got it after I come here. <laughs> so I've not been able to read it. And I went through it, and for me, as much as it, usually I do not read the, any CTI to me. So this is not a big advantage. <laughs> uh, because uh, it feels to me, I'm not sure, either we were like these people, they usually go through the routine thing. So if people are not interested to taking their time and listening to the decision makers about those issues, because it is written, they know more than I know. So why should I repeat it? And I shall not also repeat but already these speakers have already told because it is not, it has no significance. That is the greatest disadvantage for any teacher. Because you talk luck and you find that your job has already been done. <laughs> so that is also a good thing. You can thank others, you can say on what, that I share the views you have expressed. And thank you, I do that also. But uh, you have covered many of the things. But uh, because the organizer has taken so much trouble and so many people have gathered from across the world, I say, and because this is an important issue, it is so important to me that I published a book on community idol, which was published in 1985. At that time, particularly in the community field, at least in the world scenario, she took a article, but not in a book, and it was reviewed in British Journal of Ophthalmology that in online books I've got, among many things, at least online I remember I mentioned, that author must be found a celebrity at least being the first person in the world to write a book on this subject. So you can understand my attachment. My second attachment to the issues which we are discussing today is after four and a half months after I was appointed as advisor to our excellency the Prime Minister on Health and Family Planning. In addition to this, he gave me the responsibility on social welfare, which is particularly interested on social safety. And I was so knowledgeable that if anybody asked me to write correctly on this social safety, I am not sure I should be able to do it. And I have the right here. So you can understand my level of knowledge. So, as in today, uh, I got hold of Professor 
Marcus Isuda, and invited him coffee and biscuit. And sing out the level and not answer. And he has spent some time. And I requested him to make me at least up to the level of the PhD in economy in about two, three days time. He almost did half of two. If not PhD, at least in the, I think God is there. The two weeks has been invited. The reason I after 10 days has been invited by the World Bank. And there, thinking my background, they were very kind to give me about 10 minutes time because they thought that after all this 10 minutes is a waste of our time leaders. So talking to I especially, to the anti segment I person, and talking about social testing and other economic issues. Then you very well that he was nothing, so they what is the point? So having a cup of tea, glass of water, whiskey, and other things should be enough for 10 minutes. And uh, somehow the talk went on about 93. Because first thing, you know, sometimes attack is the best decision. I did the same thing. So we sat with them. First, I told that I'm very lucky that I'm an entire segment I person that so come here to talk about economics. And all of you who are sitting here, you are economists by definition and by your thoughts and of your conditions. Then immediately they ask me what is there. I told that because you work in the air condition room and occasionally you go to the field and meeting, so you do not have any idea what is the real economics in a country scenario. And because I know, so naturally I, I have got a superior knowledge than you have. So naturally I have to prove this. And I got the respect in many of them. It is in a very excellent way. And luckily, I have traveled almost many of the villages of Bangladesh. As for example, I give you the advantage of the subject we are discussing. Even there is, within the country, there is a variation. The method which you can follow in Chigarang Minsha is not too far from now. You have to remember this thing. When you talk about community, long time ago, Mackay had defined community in a very different perspective. That you have got common interest and common interest. If you take it that way, then in the home room, how many communities are here? As for example, we have got the DMD of City Bank. They are very generous, very good. They never employ the women. Have you done stuff? I'm not sure. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, that's very nice. Because they are very nice, they thought that that community is not going to, to do a banking job. Yes. No, I'm not making a last thing. Many of them know they did not apply anything. Yes. So, yes. so, so, yes. so, 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 yes. so, 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 Yes, sometimes I also tell lies, but not in a public. <laughs> so don't do it. So this is, uh, so if you discuss the subject you have taken, is not only important, but broad based and it has got a different perspective. Naturally, if you judge the deliberation of so far done, everybody has stopped in a different way. And every talk is important. Sometimes you might find one is contradictory, others not. All are supplementary. The whole thing makes a 